you have just seen there are some unconfirmed, I repeat, unconfirmed reports of some of the weather in China. And I've been searching for it and I'm not too sure if this is true or this is fake. But the main title of this show is the latest at the Free Gorges Dam, the most potential dangerous dam, the Free Gorges Dam. But let's have a look at these weather conditions that supposedly were meant to happen or have happened in the last week. Am I showing this even though it may be just like a complete load of baloney? This is kind of typical for the weather this time of year in China. It can just change like that. It's like Melbourne in Australia where they can have four seasons near enough in one day. So hail, rain, chaos in some places can be like that. Now, related to the Free Gorges Dam, the most potential dangerous dam in the world, there is no new update with it. I'm afraid I went to Senatal Hub, it's, there's no new image. So this image here is from the 2nd of May, 2023. And with that, let's have a look at the weather for the next coming days. And you can see that it is more rain than usual compared to a weather map that I showed you, for example, in January of this year. We can have a look at the levels for you. A slight change in the inflow and the outflow, but the levels have remained the same over the last 24 hour period, 157.19. But the inflow is at 8,500 and the outflow is 8,790. When I first saw this video, I thought this was the PLA, the People's Liberation Army in China, practicing for warfare against hopefully something that will never happen when they may possibly invade Taiwan. Personally, I don't think they will. they would just be the continued talks like it is. But it wasn't. I looked a bit closer at this video and found out this is that pushing admissions into into or explosions into the sky so it will hail or rain which is actually common i have actually seen this in malaysia a long time ago when they wanted it to rain at four o'clock because it was just so hot and eventually it did rain china is just using the same kind of theory and it does work <laughs>
Now, a little bit earlier today, I did make a video related to an earthquake in Yunnan province of a 5.2 stroke 5.3 magnitude. This is not fake news and it's taken me a couple of days to verify this because there's so much rubbish on YouTube that they just do it for clicks. I try to be honest, I may be late with this, but a magnitude 5.2 stroke 5.3 earthquake did hit one part of China, the southwest part of China. You can see on the map here in Yunnan. Let's continue of what the actual earthquake was like, recorded by CCTV cameras and also some cameras at home who captured the earthquake. And I was waiting for someone to up their game and they did from India. China earthquake today, live footage, 9.3 magnitude hit Sichuan. Well, the earthquake wasn't in Sichuan, it was the province next to Sichuan, granted it wasn't a 9.3 because that would be, wow, I can't even imagine a 9.3. So this one, I'm actually surprised he has 192,000 subscribers. There was granted an earthquake, ladies and gentlemen, yet, but a 5.2, not a 9.3. But he continues with this kind of video. Zhiyong, the city of China. Dear audience, a 5.0 magnitude earthquake hitting in Zhiyong. The quick struck at May 4, 2023 at 2.15 a.m. local time. The main targeted region is Sichuan. The location of the earthquake is 12 miles west southwest of Zhiyong. Latitude of the earthquake is where in matter of fact this was the real video. Even Chinese state media has reported this update. 10 injuries reported as 5.2 magnitude earthquake hits strikes southwest China in Yunnan. Brings us to a close on Friday the 5th of May 2023. My name is James. This is the James N. Cooper Show. The messages at the end, please do give it a thumbs up, the like, the share, the comment. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's about 50-50 at the moment. 50% uh, of my viewers are subscribers and 50% are new. If you are new, please do consider that. And also the financial support to help feed my little pussycats. There is one just here at the moment. As always, very, very busy. This is Tokyo for those people who don't know. And I will see you for another episode on YouTube in the near future. Bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for your time.